Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory today. I'm going to pick up where we left off working on the Devastator factory, trying to make the adjacent buildings to the chest plate look like they fit the design, maybe pop inside and sort out some of the things that were left unfinished the last time we were in those factories. Uh, I know I can't really deal with some of the balancing and the production yet because uh, we still have that bug with floor holes that hopefully will get fixed with the next patch, but we also have... Uh, some train stuff that is changing the way that things are delivered and so some of the rates might be a little bit different so until i get that stuff sorted i think i'm going to stay away from trying to balance out the production uh, but for now uh, we still have quite a lot of stuff to do in terms of the decoration hope everyone's having a good friday so far normal regulars in chat i see blast jordan i think mind trip media is kicking around i think i saw jay christ as well hope you're all having a good friday I am uh, happily coffeed. Cheers, pioneers. I went out to the store the other day and uh, bought my regular coffee, having been out of it for just like a day and a half. And it is surprising how out of sorts I feel when I don't have like good coffee on hand. Like I had some coffee. It was probably a little stale and it's kind of like my backup backup coffee. And, uh, just it doesn't cut it i i'm very happy to be back <laughs> with the regular with the regular coffee um we're gonna flip right over and get into the game here pick up where we left off might as well talk and design stuff as we go i think one of the blocks i'm discovering right now is that the hyper tubes are kind of in my way of what i want to see happening so i might try to find a way to get the hypertubes at least temporarily out of our way of the walls of the factory. So, yeah, this is just for me taking screenshots. Yeah, this here is kind of in the way, uh, as is this other one. Uh, this one in the, in the center, obviously, is great to go back and forth to the train station, but I feel like we can probably move some of these a little bit... Um, closer to this and I don't want to necessarily come across here but we might be able to scoot underneath the only thing underneath these is power cables and stuff so we might be able to kind of get this to go under here maybe yeah we could probably do that we put a borehole or something here uh, we might even be able to have it go along the edge here. I'm just deciding, you know, trying to figure out if I want it to go, like, up here? Or do I want it to go down below? So, like, uh, it's a wall hole. Like, do I want it to go down here? Right? like that could be cool at least for part of it and maybe we shouldn't make these bright green I don't know. Um, but then here, we could probably have this... I don't know how tight of a turn we can make here. This might be too much to ask. Well, that's going to be on a different level, isn't it? I don't know whether I should make that higher. Probably yes. Let's 
Still not gonna be super tight turn. Or at least not an aesthetically good looking turn. And then from here, we can just go down. It's going to be very jarring to go through, but yeah, the, the walls are not the best. Not the best. Uh, do we want to go through here? I don't know if we do. That, I think I used a foundation to get us here. Yeah. Chris says everything's going okay. Revisiting the old Minecraft world, the only one where I've beaten the Ender Dragon and trying to start the hunt for wings. Oh, very cool. That's always a fun um, milestone. You were running for your life, but you had to handle that before you chatted? Well, I mean, it's good that you have those priorities sorted, I think. That's, that's good. I feel like this might be one lower. Yeah. Feels better, right? And we'll just remove these support bits. And then where does this connect? This connects to, I think, this one on the left. Yes. So this should be pretty straightforward, actually. some point you have to have um, some level of functionality you know 
in your satisfactory basis. Alright, this is going to be probably a lot of screen flashes and not the smoothest experience, so we may have to live with it for now and then decide how to handle it later on. That's not so bad when you're traveling faster. Okay. I think going back because it's slower and you're lower. Yeah. A little on the weird side. This is cool. I like being in the tunnel. It doesn't c cut off the camera. That's fun. I'll remember that going forward. Your old computer couldn't handle it, but my new one should be able to handle it, no problem. Very cool. What kind of new computer do you have? Yeah, I think that's going to open us up for a lot more design going forward, which is good. I also think we can probably go from there. Let's do the same thing over here. Uh, this one, I feel like I could probably move. Although it's connected there already. And then this one, I don't know how to do this one. You know what, maybe we'll just have a new entrance for this one. Maybe we'll just start it here. Now I noticed these ones don't line up for some weird reason. I guess they're just one tick off. So at least it looks symmetrical, although I made the same mistake there. I deleted the wrong one.
I wish you could paint the hypertubes. They're always gold. They're, they always have that gold kind of ribbing to them. I wish you could change the colors of them. That would be super cool. I guess we could put this in the same spot. That's weird. I guess we'll just go all the way to the top. A little stuttery, but not bad. Okay, so we can start to get rid of this stuff here. Gonna open up this area too. So they're still there, but they are more out of the way of uh, the stuff we're trying to do on this side here. I feel like I need something happening along here, like some sort of detail panel or something. Be nice to have that. I can maybe get a foundation or something in there. I find one of the tricks to placing beams is using a one meter foundation. They tend to click to them a lot nicer. Actually, you know, if I could just change the wall texture. Maybe 
I get a beam up there. Yeah. That looks cool from the outside, but will we will we look cool on the inside? Probably not. Uh it's not bad. It's not terrible. I think I might need another beam. Do that without affecting the outside, that would be great. Maybe what we can do is a wall. Honestly, we could just have this whole thing come out. I mean, we can either keep this inside or we can just hide it. I think I'd prefer that. Yeah. Just gives a little bit more of, a, of an industrial sort of detail, you know? I wish we had more little things like computer consoles and stuff like that that we could use. Sometimes you can nudge splitters and mergers and stuff into walls and have it look cool, but a lot of the time there's really not much you can do in terms of like the sub block. I say sub block. My Minecraft brain. And the only thing about this square bit is that it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of like really early satisfactory when you're still kind of figuring things out. So I'm wondering if we can go in here and change this to have some triangles. And the answer is not easily, but it's also not impossible. Is it impossible to have it look good? Also, probably. Might be able to put a full wall there.
Hmm. Maybe we keep it the same kind of wall texture. But we change the color. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Doesn't really affect anything in here. Good. Uh, got last year's Asus 1 terabyte solid state hard drive, 16 gigs of RAM, 3060 NVIDIA graphics card. Don't know the graphics memory though. Uh, but it runs like a dream so far. Hey, look, that's the important thing. I, people get bent out of shape about stats, but honestly, like if it does what you need it to do, then that's uh, that's fantastic. I'm actually looking at getting a new Mac. Uh, my old Mac, which you can sort of just see the edge of behind me here, um, is getting long in the tooth for podcast recording and uh, audio editing. It's a 2017 iMac, and we're pushing seven years or more now and um the new mac minis um with the m4 would absolutely do what i need to the problem is that all my peripherals would have to be adjusted i need to get like a usb hub and i need a new monitor and really i need two new monitors the my chat monitor over here has really seen its last days and um I, i'm happy with the asus or sorry the acer the acer monitor that i have for 2k i just want to get i wish i could find another one but they don't make it anymore and when you find them, they're like $400. I think I bought it for two or $250 or something like that when I first got it. But it's a 2K monitor. It's great. It's got a really thin bezel. It's a beautiful, beautiful monitor. You can actually see it if you go to watch one of the uh, Spawn Chunks YouTube videos uh, at the Spawn Chunks on YouTube. You can see this monitor that I'm looking at behind me because, of course, I sit at the other table when I record the Spawn Chunks. And you can see both monitors. But the, the one on... It would be my left in the video is the main monitor that I play games on. Yeah, I feel like this is pretty cool. We can probably grab a couple of these little lights, maybe. those yellow. Does anybody know if they're ever going to fix this bug? Anybody know if that's something that's been if they're aware of? That's pretty good. Okay, so the big beast in the room on the outside is like what to do with this window. And I think for that, I really need to look at the upstairs. And for the upstairs, oh man, this is a problem. Why do I have this here? You come out here? I don't think I need this anymore.
Now I don't know what that could be powering. Not gonna go that way, that's okay. Oh, those are powered over here. This tube I'll keep. And that tube I'll keep. Don't know what... Let's just go into there. Yeah. This is all colored wrong. from something. Okay. Okay, so to get up to this other floor, you're probably going to go through here. I don't think that visible from the outside. That is visible from the outside. Okay. change that. Stairwell could happen here. Or it could come out here. really didn't give myself much room. I don't think the stairwell is going to be able to come into the room here. I think we're going to have to come into the room over here. Unfortunately. Yep, I think this is going to be the way up and down here. So that leaves all this space. some depths and design which means we can do more with the windows so that's good because I think one big window is kind of boring so if we were to center this on the actual building inside don't know what that looks like outside no colors are wrong is this an alternative view well that's fair ah okay that's right because that doesn't center itself over the door that's why we've got the window a little bit off center here. So what I could do is have two windows each centered around the edge. And that would still no, that wouldn't work at all. I think I still want two windows instead of one. They just won't be centered on the inside.
I don't know. Do we want two windows? Maybe if we made them with like a different different shape, maybe. No, that's just gonna look like eyeballs. Well then. I think I need to go with flat bottom and a different shape. I kind of like more of what I did over there. Maybe we just have to have it be a harsher design. I never thought about making like triangle pointy windows. That's kind of interesting. I think that works a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit more Decepticon-y, I guess. Now here I was toying around with the idea of cutting away underneath. I do like that, but then that changes what's happening in there. to take this all the way over. Do you like the accent with the purple window?
I think that's alright. Yep, I'm alright with that. Could potentially even have more triangles in here. Although, that leaves this part open, unless we can maybe drop this down. Probably the better way to go. Now, do we like those panels or are they too busy? do like the frames. We'll decide which ones we like the best. Probably not those ones. Ooh, these might be cool. Then we can't put certain types of windows up there, or we have to put them in the right order. A little bit of both. I think it needs something. I think just having them plain would be a little bit weird. We can try it and see how it goes.
And I guess this just kind of goes down here. Didn't have to worry about it on the other side, but I feel like this should probably go up. Bali, hello, hello, welcome in. Yeah, I, I don't need to do much traveling, so that's why I, I don't have a laptop. I used to travel back and forth to studios that would employ me when I was working in animation, and so my I used to bring a laptop um, around with me. And it was great because I could work at cafes and I could do my own stuff because I would still be freelancing, so I would like work at a studio in Halifax for a little while. And then before I came home for the evening, I would pop over to a cafe and enjoy, you know, a coffee and get some work done there on my own stuff. And that was really cool. Blast Jordan, thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think I like that better. I mean, I'm still not settled on the glass. I'm not sure what we're doing on the glass. I think the basic open one is a little bit too... a little bit too simple. That's not bad. We'd make these purple, of course. Sun is getting low. Time for me to take a break. Don't know about the line. I may want to bring it up. But I may not have the ability to do that. Yeah, I feel like I may want a more want more separation here. Yeah. That might be the easier way to do that. Alright, we'll revisit that when I come back. We will revisit that when I come back. If you're new to the channel, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to zap the coffee. You can grab a snack, grab a friend. We're always trying to grow the channel, so let people know we're streaming, and I will be back in five or seven minutes.
Uh oh. I guess we're going around the horn. Thanks for being awesome, Sandy. I feel like the Friday bots are out in force. Still don't know what to do about this. I know we've got extra power, which is never a bad thing. Yeah, any kind of um, first-time chatter coming in and saying, hey, I follow you on Twitter, follow me back, stuff like that is is rough. Um, I don't I don't generally trust it. Even if it is a real person, it's not the behavior that I'm really interested in fostering in chat, you know? Like, just common sense, you know? I just If it doesn't work when you walk up to someone at a bar you know, or at a social gathering, if you're at a friend's house and it's a Christmas party, and if you walk up to someone and say like, hey, follow me on Twitter, <laughs> like, people are gonna look at you like, what, what, what is your problem, you know? Right, exactly, so that's, that's kind of my, my go-to reference for Twitch chat is like, look, if you're first time in someone's Twitch chat, then just turn it, you know, treat it like you're a first time at their, you know, at their, at their house for a dinner party. Usually a hello, how are you? Or how's the stream going? Indicates a real person, you know? Or hi everyone, you know? It's really, you can usually tell immediately when it's a real person if they're saying hello to both the streamer and the chat. I find that's usually something a person would do rather than a bot. Bots drive me crazy. And it's not even just on Twitch. Twitch, it's not been so bad lately. And obviously Sandy and, and Cosmic and my other moderators are wonderful at squishing the bots. Uh, but it's the bots on platforms like TikTok, especially like the any sort of political comments like it's just it's so disheartening and it just completely diffuses and dismantles any real conversation that's happening and on important issues any kind of politics stuff is really frustrating i think we're just going to go with straight green here is that underneath So that eliminates this problem. So that's feeling pretty good. I feel like we might want to add some stuff over here. Really wish they gave us plain four foot walls. It would save so many different items being built into the world, you know? Uh, I'm fine with everything there.
don't think this really matters over here. So I can actually mimic this, I guess. Just to be consistent with everything. I guess I'll just keep it like that. This feels kind of plain, but we could always pull this along if we needed to. Connects it together a little bit. that out here too. It's weird when it doesn't line up. be better to just have this be completely plain. At least for now. I do need to come up with some other design to go over top of this. More transformery? Thanks. Yeah, I think so too. I like the combo of the different window styles as well. I'm just I'm debating on whether we should make these windows like black. I think I like them better without the little purple rim. Uh, what I need to do now is get upstairs and make sure that the upstairs design is working. And that is this way. Yeah. So right now, we've got this here. This is all from the old setup. And we've got a stairwell there. Don't need those. Feel like we probably have to double up on the wall here for this to look good.
we're running out of the uh we don't we don't have as many holes in the wall so it's a little bit more challenging to to pop in and outside oh those have got to stay green okay interesting okay so it's one two three in the middle Right, so this, this is a different level. that in here and then I think it's one of these I kind of like the, um, the indent there if I start to get rid of that stuff though, we end up with this hole here because these windows don't have as wide of a edge on them. That's annoying. I guess we could put like a sub design in here. It's okay on the bottom, but does not really work well on the top. I think we just have to do the same thing we did outside. This feels a little bit strange. We could maybe change the inside to be just a little bit different. That feels better than a point, I think. Right. Probably looks a little bit funny from the outside. Hey Dan, how's it going? It's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. I think we'll be okay. A little extra detail, but it doesn't feel out of place. I've kind of 
gone into a mode of like, I really want this to get finished. So I'm, I'm trying not to be, you know, too finicky about stuff. The double might look a little bit strange. So we may have to work on that. Mmm, yeah. Not my favorite. So the solution on the inside might be the same on the outside. It might be better to just leave um, all of this stuff pretty plain. So from here, we'll leave this stuff green. Uh, but then inside, we will also have to come in. So it means we're dealing with like a two or three plate thick window, I think. It's a big window. I mean, I think it's worth worth doing. Maybe we can get away with leaving that the way that it is. Or... Can go back to this. Because then this can just stay green. Right? That has to stay green? Yeah. depth out of it. Out of bits, yeah, out of plates. Anything else we're low on? Seems to be okay. Rain Ginger, hello, hello. Friday's going well. Pretty chill day. It's gross and rainy outside. I do not feel bad about being inside and playing video games at all. That's always a bonus.
Lo, subscribing with Prime. 17 months. Thanks very much, Lo. Hope you're doing well. So that takes care of that. Do we care about these little corner bits, I wonder? I think those are okay. I'm all right with those. New month, new prime. Thanks so much, Lo. I really appreciate it. It's a great way to support streamers. You've already got the prime sub, folks. If not for me, then just pick your favorite. This is hidden, but we'll do it anyway. Because it lines up with this nicely. like I wanted the angle of the room to come in like that somehow. I don't think I finished this. I was obviously thinking about having some sort of like viewing platform, which I do like. That's cool. Don't think we have the same room on this side. No. Because of the way we come and go over here. I feel like this might be better move down. Now, unfortunately, this green wall is the outside, but that does not mean that the inside has to be green. This is all aluminum, and I do not remember what color we had it. I obviously didn't finish it. And this is all very much stuttering for no good reason. My guess is that these are... Uh, no, oh, that's a floor hole. Yeah. I did the floor hole thing, and then I removed the floor hole. So there's one meter floor holes all over the place here. And these are bugged right now. So that's why I think these things are screwing up. But like the fact that this has got 200 waiting and it's still at 83% is just wild to me. This makes sense because these are teetering really close to the, the bottom, right? But like this should be at 100%, not 83. You're aging low back pain. Look, I feel you. I, I deal with chronic low back pain all the time. The only thing I can say is that everybody's different, but I do find across the board, moving helps. I know you feel like you want to sit still and do nothing, but I do find that moving helps. Now, are any of these an outside wall? I don't think so. This is, but not this. So from here in, we can basically paint this whatever we want. From the look of the concrete, I would say that I was probably aiming. Yeah, I was probably aiming for white everything. Yeah, like why are you stopping? There's no reason for you to be stopping.
See how it jumped to 99 and 100%? I wonder if there's a bug with maybe bringing the save from from update 8 to 1.0. Why are you stuttering? Yeah, sitting is the problem, 100%. You get the the pelvic tilt and it is bad news bears. I know what you mean. I feel like we're going to be entering from over here. And we're probably going to give this section probably going to be transition wall so we can have different depths and things And that sticks out on the outside, so we can't use that. And I don't think I have... There's no, like, angled walls that I know of. Oh, there is. But it goes the other way. That's no good. Oh, there we go. Then that's four meters and this is eight. So we can't really resolve that. So I would say this has to be a triangle here. And that is how we handle that. Not the best, not the cleanest. Was not thinking about that when I line things up, and that obviously doesn't line up at all. Because that's from the top, not the bottom. Right, okay. Looks like there's a difference. Yes. Honestly, this would probably be the better spot to, to cap it. Have it be more in line with the inside than the outside. And then we'll worry about this. This may not even stay here. So I'm less concerned about that. We can worry about that once we design the inside. that has to stay like that. I don't know whether this is going to be a gate door or whether we're going to actually have a, a moving door. Yeah, my guess is that this was white. Does anybody remember? I can look it up on the VOD, I guess. It was really unfortunate that we used 
um, floor holes here, though. That's a real pain. You can see it's back down to 78. But it can't be the it can't be the floor hole because like it has everything it needs. It's not backed up here. I really don't understand. Anybody have any ideas? Because my instinct is that it's a bug. Yeah, I was obviously trying to experiment with what I wanted to do for the trim. these off center I don't remember what color those were. I do sort of like the stripe. I think the problem is, of course, we just can't continue to stripe unless we did this thing here. And I wasn't doing a lot of nudging in update eight. It's only since then that I've been able to really kind of figure that out. Although I wonder, the problem here, of course, is that we can't do the back. I could just change this whole thing. I do prefer the white. Yesterday I spent about an hour troubleshooting why after updating my pipes from Mark II, I still only had enough water to run six coal power plants in one pipeline instead of eight, even added a fourth water extractor, and then when the three should be enough. In the end, I found a piece of Mark I pipe hiding in a junction that I didn't upgrade while the rest of, with the rest of the pipes. Yeah, that kind of stuff is is problematic. I, I don't 
there's no but then like here we the, we can see the machines have their stuff pipes have always been really buggy in that way but this like why is it dropped to 85% like there is enough here You know, it's outputting 30. This is a Mark 1. That's a Mark 1. This is just a regular merger. Mark 3. There's no backup. There's no slow on the belt. This is constantly throwing stuff in. Just weird. I think I need to adjust that color. Obviously trying to come up with some sort of like pathing and stuff for it. Little access points. <laughs> Obviously no railings here. It's like the third time I've nearly fallen down there. I do remember what I did uh, with um, the other save with these things, and this was really cool. Is that you can grab this sort of stuff and then add in like little things like this to make them feel um, supported, I guess. With this, I might want to go farther. Feels more sci-fi, more angular, more fun. Don't like the open stairs, but not much you can do about that. Feels a little bit better when you're up here too. Feels like more of a robust edge, right? Just having that there instead of just nothing. Right on. Well, I guess at some point this would either be gray or white. Or gray and white. It might be better to have the walls gray because then stuff like the white catwalk would stand out a little bit better. I like the look of that, color-wise. We don't know what we're doing with lights in here either, which I need to consider before I start decorating the ceiling. It's weird to have the giant um, green wall, but I guess we have that in the front of this other one, and it seems to work okay. I guess what I could do is I could, I could bring the green in, which I think I did over here. 
Yeah, like if you bring the green into the room, it seems to work a little bit better. So maybe... I mean, I don't know, maybe this inside could be gray. That's not the best. Yeah, how did I do it over here again? So I used a pillar to separate it out. And there's a bit of a design here, which we could still do. So like if this wanted to continue from this line here, that's outside. Yeah, it might be best to have some sort of pillar. Fortunately, that would stick outside if we went any higher. And then, if we keep this stuff... And maybe want to run it along here. Oh, then that's going to hit the door, so maybe we go down here. A lot of trial and error, I find. Something like that could work. It would probably be better if it was a different material.
like the contrast. I don't know, maybe the walls are going to be a lot darker. But I find that here you can start to echo different um, shapes. So like when this comes up, you can have it like go up again. And all of a sudden it starts to feel a little bit more like a design language, you know? The green really pops with the dark walls. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, this could change. I don't, this is just kind of like an idea. Whatever we do for a door here is going to depend on what happens in the next room. And then whatever we do in as a pattern here is probably going to be centered over the door. So like over here in this other room, there's this door here. And so I kind of brought the focus to the door. This is cooler, but like we don't have a door over there to worry about. It's a white sign. Interesting. Are all these are white? Huh. Yeah, the green is really subtle. This is more white and gray. I don't mind copying what we have in next door. Because it's all aluminum. Like this is all the aluminum production. So it would make sense if they have some sort of visual um, togetherness, I guess. And I think that's probably why I have the beam over there, is because it hides this seam. Yeah, they're all stopping at the same time. I really hope the solution is not like rebuild and rehook up, because that would be a problem. Just a curiosity, can I delete just one of these? Yes. if I delete all this yeah it's pausing Shouldn't that be at a hundred percent? Don't know what's going on. Oh, there's one mirror floor holes. Not anywhere, Sandy. Everywhere. But I don't understand how that would affect it because it has the guts. Right? If it was not getting two... As it, it, like, if it wasn't getting the, the two scrap it needed every cycle, every two seconds, then I'd say, yeah, I, I would totally blame the bug on the floor holes. But the fact that they're full of scrap, right? Like, do I have any scrap? Like, I can take scrap from this. I can put it back in there. 
I can even take this up to 140 and it's still it'll stutter right it's, it's weird and when I say weird I mean freaking annoying <laughs> We're starting to lose the sun. Uh, I think we're going to change this back to purple. I need to go in another break here. But hopefully this little bit of design work inside should help us with the outside. So we can move on and do other things out here. I feel pretty good about that. It's still not the best resolu resolution down there, but it's better than what it was. It's unfortunately, it's a game of yes and because I built this so long ago and should have done this kind of like design shape language immediately. And I didn't. I just kind of build boxes. And then there's all these factories inside the boxes because you get excited about building the factory part of the game and uh, forget that the design will affect that. All right, it's going to Megatron Devastator Hub. There is also something very buggy about this too. Let's just ax all this. So I just completely cleared this and yet it put it in the wrong order. So why is it going to Megatron next? You know, like I... Alright, that looks to be the right order now. I don't know. Folks, I take a break once an hour. It is that time. I will be right back.
All right, I think we can get back in here. Thank you, Sandy. I'm trying to think if there's something we can do to switch gears a little bit. Maybe make some more progress. I um I got sidetracked doing some behind the scenes stuff, putting some clips from the channel up on YouTube Shorts and on TikTok. Uh, which, by the way, I haven't plugged it enough because uh, I up until recently, up until just this week, I've only really been consuming content on TikTok, not uh, posting. But um, it's Joel Dot Duggan on TikTok. There should be a link, I think, on Twitch in my about page. Um, but I'll post clips and stuff to YouTube Shorts and to TikTok. Yeah. So again, this is going to be boring because we don't know what's going on the next floor. So that's that's kind of tracks, I guess. And then we've got this weird power node. Oh, I see. I guess I could just put this here instead. Well, I guess we could just paint what's left in here to at least be consistent with everything. Can't tell. I think the floor is purple. You can see this from the train as you're driving around. I mean, you won't be able to once we put it back on it, but. I do want to incorporate more yellow into the build, but maybe not with this particular um, factory. I think my TikTok is on that socials link, is it, Sandy? Before I get carried away here, I should double check to make sure that I'm doing the right color. So this was all done previously in a blueprint and we changed the swatch. Uh, otherwise, it would be way more efficient to do this um, once in the blueprint and then never have to worry about it.
which I'm sure I did in the blueprint. So, unfortunately, once it's in the world, you can't just change the blueprint. That would be really cool. If you change the color in the blueprint and then everything in that blueprint in the world would change, that would be a really powerful editing tool for this game. Plastic, out of plastic. Took two and a half hours, but you finally have an elytra. Good stuff, J. Christ. Happy to hear it. Really opens up the game. I think that you will uh, enjoy your time in the skies. I can't go back. It's one of the reasons why I don't like early Minecraft and starting over. Is that I just don't... I don't want to go back to just being slow. So it looks like every machine in here is stuttering, so it has to be something to do with the smelters. Unless the one meter floor holes are um, not, like unless it's not showing what's happening. Like if the one meter floor holes are bottlenecking stuff, but then somehow we're getting incorrect information from the game. That could be possible. Well, at least it's all going to be colored right now. You're really mad if I have to rebuild it. But I guess if I did that, I would just... I would um, repaint the blueprint. I need to uh, assemble and reorganize my blueprints now that we've brought some blueprints from the Cybertron save over to this save because I make those blueprints available for patrons on patreon.com slash Joel Duggan so you can at least have... Um, can at least have some uh, references to, like how I do things and a potential way to to learn. Let's just make this standard for now.
Hmm. You don't know about that. Looks a little bit more interesting. Can't really do the same thing over here. I guess we could. It's lopsided because it's it's not centered, and I think there's a belt or something in the way. Oh yeah, smelter or er, um, the lane there was in the way, and I wanted it to be lined up with the stairs. Not that we need those, but here we are. Where did these start? They start when foundation in and the end. Pops in and head in to say hello. Hello, Cosmic. <laughs> Sandy says hello, Cosmic's head. Weird, weirdly morbid. The two of you. I think it started right above the catwalk. No. Uh, even with the machines. Okay. Is it me or do they seem darker? Than the walls. Maybe it's just the way that the light is rendering. So it's pretty plain, but at least we have structure.
Yeah, they do look darker, don't they? Cool. So that part is done. And then I guess we can just continue this along the same way. There's something really satisfying about the the stripe. Oh right, I'm out of plastic. It's just such a simple design element, but it seems to work very, very well. And I don't know why you'd need to walk around in these places. I could have them all just connected in one big room, but I guess the designer in me wants to have this stuff look like you could walk around it like a factory floor. Bally just started thinking about Futurama <laughs> with heads in jars. Yeah. I mean, that's what I think about when I think about cosmic people's heads in jars. <laughs> Obviously jokes, but sometimes maybe bots, bots heads in jars. That's a thing. That would be a good emote. When people, when when Sandy or Cosmic or the other moderators um, squishes a bot, we could have a like little robot head in a jar. We've got a brain in a jar, although that's more for like a think tank expression than anything else. And this is not an outside wall. Cool. This is all kinds of sketchy. We'll leave it like that for now. See, the idea was to have this on display. But the glass really messes with the look of it. I might go back and when I bring the, the other Transformers save over... I may um, may take some of the things that I did with that and utilize it here. I think I used like pillars to encase them. We could make this look a lot cooler. Yeah, stuff like this.
Less from the, the front, more from the side. that way. Doesn't hide the lights either, which is fun. And these doors don't stay open, unfortunately. Every time you reload the game, the doors shut. I don't know if that's a... That to me can't be a design intention. I'm okay with that. Could always have a little paint on the floor too. Oh, they don't do corners with that, do they? It's only the single lines. I bet you can't layer those. That would be fun. Uh, yes, Andy, that's the one I was talking about. That's, I think, my favorite emote that I've made. I like the little chibi me as, as a as a hype emote. I like that too, but I, I really like the, the other one. This, to me, should not be purple. I feel like this has been miscolored. I think maybe we'll put a proper door here. That's a decent pass. Now, I think... I feel like that should be... I don't know if this should stay green. Or whether it should... be more white. I forgot how much I like these concrete walls. I don't know. It does kind of tie it together. Maybe we'll leave it green for now. Could also be an opportunity to bring the green stripe across here too. 
Maybe that's part of the green that continues down. Yeah, why not? We are missing... How many of these do we want to do? One on each center foundation? I think they should be white, honestly. Mm. Should be pretty easy to do. I wonder if two would be better. Yeah, why not? I feel like they're inside lights, like kind of like the lights in a movie theater along the stairs, the walkways. Stick out a fair bit, but don't look too close, I guess. Could probably even do like a reverse here. That's kind of cool, although do we make it green? No, I think we keep it white. get to here we can just do this backwards Sure. I think that's what I meant to do.
take this all the way to the corner. And then same thing here. Makes sense to me. Yeah, feeling very sci fi, very transformery. I like it. Depressingly gray. What if I like gray? These are all purple for some reason. And the floor is yellow apparently. Yeah, we've... I've been just kind of recoloring this. I did not go and look up what this should be. I feel like it was actually really well done. I remember taking my time with all the colors. The machines still look okay. I don't know if these were supposed to be purple. I don't know if that's what they were planned to be. I will have to go look that up, I guess. The insides of the factories I've been trying to keep pretty simple as you really don't spend much time in here once you've done building them. But I like that, that kind of throughput, that line. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely look up to see. I definitely had some colors in here don't think they were all gray, nor do I think they were all orange. Like, here's a spot where you could maybe dip it to show off the doors. I mean, maybe the whole door section could be white, right? Like, maybe this whole thing is white and it, like, it comes down from the line and then goes back up to the line. Little things like that, I think, go a long way. Gray isn't pink. No, you're right. It's not. And it shall remain. Not pink. Blue. Why? That looks kind of cool in here. Oh, this is, yeah, this is all meant to be a much different color, too. We've got some other issues here. I wonder what's going on here. Why are you not getting quartz? Probably because it's a floor hole. Uh, I built so many of my factories around the whole floor hole thing.
Actually, that door could be made concrete, couldn't it? They have those, I think. Yeah, totally. So what I might end up doing is redesigning this window a little bit to... I'm okay with it being a bit different shape, but I think I might redesign it to match that window. Just to have like that consistency in design. That's a stairwell, so we kind of have to leave that there, I think. Yeah. Or at least I would want to try to keep it there. The only thing I, I start to feel a little bit... Um, I'm not sure bored with I guess out here is stuff like this and this is where I feel like we can probably do more stuff like this oh I don't need plastic do I have any plastic in the cloud the dimensional depot probably not no I've removed all my immediate entrances to my storage. Yeah, I fixed the... I hope they fixed the one meter floor holes with Fixmas 2. It's a pretty well-known bug, and I, I know people are complaining about it, and it would affect a lot of people's factories, so I'm sure that they will address it at some point. Ooh, getting low on plastic. To take the new hypertubes. So something I was doing in the other playthrough with things like this where I would then put because there's nothing going on here I could just put like some sort of decoration footing on this like a sturdy piece of of the design you know and I think that helps with boring corners like this I think it really adds a lot and we could also this is kind of a spot where we could have like an exposed belt or just some just this kind of stuff here like that kind of thing would be cool even though we've got stuff coming out there it might be fun to have some of this stuff that's happening in here just artificially run it out here for fun and then bring it back around inside just to have some sort of like movement I think that'd be cool but I quite like that actually that's a nice little nice little touch off to remember that I did that a lot on the wheel jack um, playthrough and I still don't know about these I, I'm not sure how I want to design the floor. I don't think I want it to be smooth like that. I don't want these. I feel like asphalt is just too close to this. I don't know. think that is where I need to wrap it up for today pretty happy with the progress I feel like this looks a lot tidier looks a little bit more intentional so I'm quite happy with that uh, we'll move on to this other building um, next time and I think 
because of that, I'm feeling a lot more confident in the way that this looks as you, as we run around and do more things, I'm feeling like this looks like more of what I've been intending to do for the last, geez, two years, I guess, in this game. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. Uh, I'm going to send you along to somebody new. Uh, Kint Tenu is playing Satisfactory, and they're a first-time Satisfactory player. So I think that should be a good time. Uh, thanks ever so much for the support. Uh, I really appreciate it. I had a bunch of people resubbing today. Uh, Prime subs are always welcome. If you use some bits or otherwise did a donation, I really, really appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. And uh, the reason I get to do this, it's a great way to spend a Friday afternoon. Uh, I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, camera's frozen. Thank you very much, Sandy. I don't know why that continues to happen. Um, on my list of stuff to fix... All you have to do is flash it and it works. But anyway, uh, again, thank you ever so much. Uh, I'm going to pass you along to Kintanu and we will see you tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord too. I need to uh, let everyone know when the Town Hall Hangout is happening. I had a couple of dates that have passed and I need to sort that out. It may be tomorrow. I don't think so though because I'd have to prep for that. Depends on how things are going to go. Uh, hopefully no next week at some point. Uh, and I'm looking at around noon, uh, which should be, I think, accommodating for most people. It's not the best, but um, that will hopefully accommodate as many people. It's going to be recorded anyway, so you can always check that out later. Uh, that's going to be on patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. There's going to be some changes happening to Patreon, um, not so much for Joel Duggan, but for patreon.com slash The Citadel Cafe. Those changes are coming uh, in the next couple of months, and I will be talking about those. And, of course, uh, plans here for Twitch and some of the metrics and things behind the scenes. So, always a good time. Uh, I will pass you along for the rest of your satisfactory afternoon. Be kind and enjoy the rest of your Friday. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.